Anybody, anyone, anyone of you guys got a gun? I'm hitting the red button. What does the red button do? It's a good alarm that's out on the front. It's really awesome. Yeah, that's the money. John Lutton's for the new school. Who's missing? I'm going to get a shot. Does anyone need medicine? I got it. Medicine. Put me in the middle. Yeah. This is your life. It's like Doc McStuffins medicine right here. Yeah, that is so funny. Where did you guys go? Where did you guys go? I think I need medicine. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm not. I walked out the door with my gun. I walked out, and I was going to sit down. I didn't think about not even hearing it. Everybody get down! So that's awesome. Like, so that's the thing you gotta understand, right? Like, a lot of people assume, you know, I always I joke around, it's like driving when you're driving down the freeway and you see a cop, right? And you're in the middle of traffic, there's 30 other fucking cars, but you're dead set on the fact that they see you, right? Like in the group and everything. And you're like, fuck, cool. And you go like back down, right? It's the same idea. It's really easy to get caught up in the fact that, holy shit, the gunman can see me, I can't move, all that type of stuff. You forget they're just fucking human and I'm focusing on things. I'm, I'm just stressed out nine times out of ten as you are. So the second I turn my back, which is exactly what I was trying to do, I get further into the room, I cut angles, I can't keep everybody at bay anymore, right? The second I turn my back, it's a phenomenal opportunity to get involved, right? To open it. Point a gun at you, higher barrier of entry, that's tough. But I turn my back a little bit, you have that opportunity, that's awesome. One person gets involved, now I'm focusing and paying attention to them. Somebody else gets involved, it's tougher, right? So, um, how many people got shot? Arm up. Okay, how many people got shot and were in this room when the scenario started? I mean, who wasn't part of the scenario that got shot? Me. Oh, huh? okay, cool. So we always, uh, there's always a phenomenon where if a gun's pointing in the general direction of somebody in one of these scenarios, they give themselves a gunshot wound that I never told them to do. <clears throat> and so it's always interesting to see if anybody did that, which nobody did, which was nice. Uh, medical care. Who started giving medical care? Anybody? Me. What did we get? 
I put a tourniquet on her arm. All right, cool. So we got to a tourniquet. Well, I went over to Cindy and talked to her, but then I looked for a tourniquet, but you said time. I think they're taking cool. away or something. So you're initiating it. I heard two people say, hey, who's calling 911? I'm calling 911, which is really good. How many people got out of the room? It was a lot. A lot. A lot of out of the room. Yeah, out of the room. Oh, yeah. 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 Look at it. We were outside. Come on. Yeah, yeah, we went outside. No, no, no. <laughs> Here's the deal. With Again, with the barricade, don't, don't downplay the barricade, right? It, you're heading into the bathroom, just analyze it, what makes sense. If I'm in there and I realize it's not the best barricade, and I know that there's no secondary exit, then I need to start going, okay, cool, there's no uh, bar or there's no, it's not a secure barricade, and there's no secondary <laughs> exit, so what next? What can I use to fight with? Is there anything in there? Can I rip the shower curtain rod down and break that in half and use it to stab or beat with, right? Don't do that in your room. I had the torch. Listen, we yeah. talked about this. Yeah, we talked about this, but is this far wall drywall? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a drywall fucking wall. So I go through that door, I lock it. Everybody out here is getting shot. There's loud noises. You can stomp through the goddamn drywall and get the hell out of it. Right? Like people laugh when I say that, but drywall is very easy to kick in and break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Use it, utilize that. That's a perfect example of an opportunity where knocking that wall and going that direction. Me is the thing, think about it, me is the bad guy. I want high value targets, I want to kill a bunch of people. There's about 20 people in this room. Am I gonna go out of my way because I hear a loud ruckus of you kicking through drywall to kill one or two people in that room, which is harder and farther away from me? Or am I going to be more occupied with the initial group of people I'm already shooting and or now fighting, right? Now again, obviously you're not gonna do that in a training scenario, but the reality of the situation is that is a perfect prime example of when you would utilize that. Knock a drywall down, right? It's good. If I don't have a window, I might still have drywall. Any other observations? How many gunshots went off? Does it matter? <laughs> so, right? the gunshots don't matter how many went off. You don't need to count them. It's not a thing. You don't know how many rounds are in the gun, right? Uh, a lot of people don't realize that I had a malfunction. That the gun actually jammed. Guns can malfunction a lot, very easily. If you've spent any amount of time on a range, you've probably had one, if not more. Um, the more fancy the weapon is, nine times out of 10, the more finicky it is. So just stuff like that. So we wanna really kind of learn. And look, we could do 50,000 scenarios, right? There's so many variables we can throw into these. But this, <coughs> all I want this to do is give you a snapshot of processing information and making the best decision possible. There's no right answer. Okay, so coming out of this room, if you were the shooter, you're busting out of this room to catch the people that are going. Mm -hmm. When you come out of this room, you would automatically face to your left because it's kind of like a motion, right? Mm -hmm. So jogging to the right exit, knowing your exit's and going to the right exit, sure. I feel I had a better chance than Amy. Because yeah. Amy was She's halfway across the than floor. Amy. Yeah. Or <laughs> if, well, it's, it's, it's true. You just got faster than the slowest person. Yeah. Well, not just that, but like, well, you, you, you kind of made a jog. Right. So like, like, it was automatic to go that door. way. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would think that you would go that way too. But again, you were based off information. So you thought to turn right, and that's, yeah, from a tactical standpoint, Let's say up your percentage, ten percent. But more than likely, you're not going to chase after people running. You're going to get their. Until I'm done with my high value. Done. If yeah. everybody was done in here, then yeah. maybe. Once I lose easy targets, <coughs> then I start taking more risks to go find harder targets. If my goal was a body count, right? You know, in this situation specifically, if you listen to the dialogue I was using, I was projecting on that Nate was my boss, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So in my end game, even though I was going to fucking execute all of you guys, it was really about me. Right, so, and again, that's not necessarily something you might pick up on right away, but that is something to understand the psychology behind. If he's my primary, I'm going that direction. I'll kill anybody that gets in my way, but he's going to be the guy that I'm dealing with. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> I'm probably going to stay in here a little bit longer, but again, I don't know. Or, if Nate's the one who goes running off, anybody that's within proximity to Nate is now, now is a problem. Right? Just so, for me. Yeah, stay away from Nate. Wouldn't you have killed Bill first since Bill was very aggressive here? Well, Bill wasn't aggressive. No, Bill was being very no, like, aggressive. I would have killed my aggressor. No, Bill was. But he laid down. I was like this. I but you kind of was started to, and then he said, you were like, I said, okay. He did shoot me near the end. Yeah, I shot. Okay, okay. 
And only you reason, I, the only reason I it. moved, honestly, is because they were about to fall on my freaking head, so I got thrown out of the way. Oh, so yeah. I think she's talking about Listen. when you moved initially. Like okay, okay, okay. Okay. Moved. okay. So, okay. And I, okay. I'd be the person I'd shoot first. All right, so look, we've already gotten, <laughs> when I talk about like, you shooting people, or who you want to shoot. <laughs> Okay. I just wanted to know. But now we know. Yeah. Now we know. So now we know. All right. So look, we, we've already gone a little bit long. I don't want to keep you guys any longer. Um, you know, I'll hang around for a little bit. I know we.